What's going on guys? Welcome back to another session tutorial. My name is Kiba. Today we're going to be learning how to do lip tricks. One thing I recommend is turning up your pumping impulse multiplier. This will help with the speed when you're pumping into corners. And then I recommend also turning down your power slides friction. This will help you get into a lip tricks a lot easier. Turn your power slide friction down in increments to make it feel right for your own personal style. Everyone's gonna be a little different. Now we can go over our different inputs for doing lip tricks. These are our power slide inputs. So there's our 50-50 input. You'll know you're doing the input correctly when your character straightens out their posture. Back foot down, front foot up. Once you're in the 50-50, release your back foot and you will go into a nose power slide. This is gonna be the basis for a lot of tricks and transition. If I do the 50-50 input and release my front foot, I'll do a power slide on my tail. You see here, 50-50 input, you can move your front foot. So this is to showcase how much control you have with these power slide inputs. They're amazing for getting into slappies, transition, or whatever you can think of. These have personally saved me from bailing a lot. So this is going to be the basics of pretty much all your lip tricks, but it doesn't have to always be a 50-50 input. You can actually activate your lip tricks pretty quickly if you know what trick you want to do. So based on the tricks that you want to do, you can input different power slide inputs on the fly instead of having to always do a 50-50 and then move your sticks. So for example, the obvious one would be bringing your sticks together and also bringing your sticks apart. But there are a few others as well, such as you can bring your back foot all the way to the left or right and then move your front foot stick up and that will initiate a power slide immediately. Same with the left side. And then same with your front foot. You just bring the back foot stick down and it will just initiate a power slide immediately. Extremely useful because when you're doing your power slide, you can also rotate. And this is going to be the basis for a lot of lip tricks. So get comfortable with learning how to do different power slide inputs, whether it's the 50-50 one. And when you're doing the power slide input where you have to go to the side, be sure that you aren't pocketing to the left or right, you know? You want to make sure that you are directly left or directly right. I guess that would be like a 90 degree. But yeah, make sure you are directly left or directly right. Once you get comfortable with those power slide inputs, you can start implementing them into just practicing doing simple lip tricks. The 50-50 input, you just practice. So this is bump, left bump, right bump. L1 and R1 if you're using a PlayStation controller like I am. And it does switch when you turn fakey because of true stance. But yeah, just practice doing simple lip tricks. Back 50-50 is sticks together, front 50-50 is sticks apart. And then you want to get more advanced, throw a rotation into it with your triggers as well. Front tail is sticks apart, release the front foot while doing a front side rotation. And here you can see I'm priming my front foot so I can power side easily into a front disaster. So yeah, just get used to doing the power slide inputs that I showed you and it will start clicking. A lot of it, just like everything in this game, is, it is timing. So you can see in the slow-mo, I did the second input as soon as my front truck went above the coping. So when it comes to flipping into lip tricks, pocket popping helps out a lot. So if you put your stick just at an angle down left or down right, you will pop left or right. So you can actually use that to get your skater into the position that you need for you to like get into your grinds or whatever trick you want to get into next. You guys will notice that I'm coming at the quarter pipe at an angle to help me flip into it. And I use a pocket depending on whether or not I'm too close to the coping or if I'm too far away. If I'm approaching backside and I'm too far away from the coping, I'll pocket left and pop that way. If I'm approaching backside and I'm too close to the coping, I'll pocket right to move me away from it. You really want to try to get your power slide inputs down as well because those are going to help you a lot in the long run. 
rocks just to get smooth lines. For a rock to fake, he'd do a 50-50 input before the lip, release the front foot, then release the back foot. To nose blunt, power slide as soon as your front truck is above the coping and rotate while releasing your back foot. There we go, just like that. So you can do a nose blunt. So flipping now is a lot like double grinds. Once you're in to the trick that you want to do, you let go of the input for a second, then you do the flip out immediately after re-inputting. For my example here, I did a back 503 shove out. Once you get into the 50, immediately release your back foot, re-input, then flip out. Okay, here you can see I did the same grind, but I did a kick flip out. It's the same concept. You want to release your back foot, re-input it, and then do the flip out. Please leave a like on the video if you've made it this far and leave a comment with the timestamp if you have any questions. Okay, so once you're inside of a transition, if you want to go back to fakie, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is bump out the correct way and rotate with your bump out at the same time. If you time it right, you should just go back to fakie, no problem. So here we have our favorite trick back 5-0, but this time when you do your bump out, you want to hold your trigger down to rotate to fakie. And yes, it works the opposite way as well. Just time your trigger press with your bump out. And yes, you can do nose blunt to fakie as well. It's very easy once you get the hang of it. The blunt is probably the hardest part of this trick, but as soon as you bump out, immediately hold the trigger down to make sure you go to fakie. Be sure to leave a comment if you have any questions and join me on Twitch for live streams. Next, we're gonna go to San Fran. There's a really good pool there that's really good for practicing transition lines and practicing how to drop into pools. So let's go to tennis courts and it should be over here. Yep, right here. Drop ins, if you just like practice your power slide inputs, drop ins are extremely simple. As soon as you get to the lip, you just input your power slide and then you bump in. That's all you have to do for a drop in. And this pretty much works for any kind of trick. Even if you kind of like miss the lip, it's very forgiving. You'll notice I'm pumping here and I just want to point out, depending on the size of the pool and the distance from the corner and the coping, your timing will vary for how fast you can pull off lip tricks. Smaller distance means less time you have between inputs. So that's easy for drop ins. Next, we want to just go over pumping. As everyone knows, is what helps you maintain speed when you're inside the bowl so you don't have to push. And it's very simple. All you have to do is crouch in pockets inside the bowl. Just crouch in the pockets and you'll start to gain speed. I recommend turning the pump impulse multiplier up in advanced settings. The higher it is, the faster you go. Switch your feet. You can pump by going forward as well. It becomes really easy once you get used to it. It just takes, you know, like everything with this game, it takes a ton of practice. Another great place to practice transition is of course FDR. It has this and it has a mini ramp. Practice pumping on the mini ramp and doing quick lip tricks and turns with your power slides. And this is something that's really helped me. And as I'm pumping, I'm switching between my left and right stick, depending on the stance that I'm in. If you're using front foot, back foot, this doesn't matter. Better illustrate this. All I'm doing is crouching before I get to the pocket. And I release the crouch a little bit before I exit the pocket. And then once you get the hang of pumping, it's really easy. You could just flow without having to push at all, but you can get around this entire mat without pushing. Just like once you start getting the hang of pumping. I just want to give a shout out to Center and Peoples. They helped me a lot with this tutorial. Uh, really, they helped a ton. Uh, links to their Twitch channel will be in, in the description down below. It's just crazy.
If you are going too fast, a quick power slide to speed check will help you time your next lip trick better. If this video helped you at all, how to figure out transition or anything new in session that you didn't know before, be sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe for more session content coming up in the future. We got more tutorials coming up in the future. So everyone have a good one. Be sure to be on the lookout for those. Peace.